That's why now I know why I wore this dress because we were like, hey. I'm glad you did wear that dress. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Talking about it, you know, mm. this is you. I know are not a fan of doing scary films. Mm -mm, I don't like being scary. Yeah, I don't either, by the yeah, way. Like Me either. But you wanted to do this, and I found it really interesting. You said that you connected with the idea of it being like a love story of how family came together in yeah. unexpected ways, yeah. and that was something yeah. obviously that your yeah. life, your life story has connected to. Can you tell, well, tell us a little well, bit about most, that? Well, most most families start off through blood, mm. and the li the family that you end up with often is a combination of many things. It's not just the you know from your parents come you know there's. Family is a beautiful thing, and I think in times of tragedy, you realize exactly who your family is, and it doesn't always end up being the blood. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that was a very important thing to talk about, mm -hmm. and community, and what your partner looks like, does for you, is there for you, mm -hmm. is, to me, it's like, it's very important to bring up that the picture that many people display of what family and love looks like doesn't really represent what it ends up being and what it should look like. And you can find your own version of what family looks like. You, you know, you've sure. chosen that and built it in an unexpected. You probably, as a little girl, didn't think it would be like that, and yet mm -hmm. you found the perfect mm -hmm. family. It's better than anything I imagined. You know, it's it's what you feel. It's not what you imagine. It's what, it's what it makes you feel. Selfishly, it's about what I feel every morning or every night as I go in and st in a stalker way watch my children sleep and tell them I love them and just keep telling them until they say they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know how their eyelashes curl or what their fingernails look like. Yeah. You know, I, I memorize things and I go, I never thought I, I could feel mm -hmm. that deeply. Mm -hmm. And that's, in a selfish way, that's what you want to aspire to. But that's mm -hmm. also, you know, his line, you got to love them as though one day you're going to lose them. It's true. You just go, <laughs> I know. It's a scary thing to love something that much. Yes. It is. Very yeah. You keep it, I keep it in my heart. I always feel like it could be taken away at any point mm -hmm. and it makes you not waste mm -hmm. a second. Yeah. Well, sometimes Hopefully a you can get to that place in life where you realize that yeah. it's it's that fragile. Mm -hmm. Most people waste. Mm -hmm. I wasted a lot of time, not in, once I had my kids. There's moments that I wish I could get back and yeah. do better, but I wake up every morning and just say, let me be a better mom and be more present and yeah. And I screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I think every mom can relate to yeah, that. I was yeah. up all night Googling how to raise daughters <laughs> the other night when I... There's no way. It's like whatever your gut tells you. <laughs> Lock them in a the closet. Take That's away the key. Yes. I'm like, I might need a book. I might need a book. Yes. Yes.